All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, with Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, I want to get into a quick lesson that's based on this video that I saw with this Sakari group. I'm not really too sure which branch they're from, but um, point being is you know they are part of Sakari and they had a Christian come up and I'm not even too sure exactly what the whole um, I guess you could say debate was all about but this Christian was bringing out a passage in the uh, the book of Romans and these you know men broke it down completely wrong all right and they were just winging it, okay? And you see, if you're going to go out there on the highways and byways and teach, you got to be on point, okay? You have to be on point. Because as the scriptures say, which I'm about to pull out right now, it says here in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, okay? And that word in the Greek... Um, for rightly dividing goes into teaching correctly and directly. You see, you have to teach this word correctly and directly. You know, you cannot, you know, wing this. All right. As some of these other camps do. And I'll say this. This is not just Sakari. All right. You have numerous camps that... um that really don't know the scriptures and that just wing it. All right. And see, I'll say this. That's a very scary thing to do because as the scriptures say in the uh, book of Revelation. OK, and I believe also in Deuteronomy, if I'm not mistaken, it talks about how you're not supposed to add or take away from the scriptures. So if you're not teaching this word properly, you're either adding or taking away. And that's a very, very dangerous game. OK, um, that you're playing with now. All right. And this is why it's so important, as the scriptures say, which I'm about to get right now in the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter. <clears throat> Give me one moment. This is Proverbs chapter four and seven. It says here, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. You see, you're supposed to get that understanding, which a lot of guys don't have. They really don't have the understanding. They may have some of the wisdom, some of the knowledge, but they really don't have the understanding of the scriptures. Okay? And it starts showing when they start getting questioned on certain things. And they're not able to answer it properly. All right. Or they're not spiritually discerned. You see. And you cannot go out there and do these things because now, you know, you're making. All right. This uh, a ministry look bad because I'll say this. It's not just uh, uh, you that you represent. OK. You're representing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And you see, if you don't teach this properly. Now you're making it seem as if there's um, holes in the doctrine, contradictions, you know, so on and so forth. You see? And you cannot do that. And see, a lot of you guys need to just sit down and let the uh, real men of the Lord teach. A lot of you guys are not ready. You learned a couple scriptures. You learned that you were Israelite two, three years ago. Okay? Because I'll say this. I could tell... That this group is very inexperienced. Okay? Very inexperienced. 
All right, and they weren't ready to go out there. Like I said, this if you watch this video, this guy is literally just winging it, pulling things out of his ass. Okay, and that's not the way to do it. But see, this is what happens. I'll say this because it actually, in particular, with this group, it starts off with their head. All right, Elazar. It starts off with him because really, I'll say this: he teaches. A lot of things that aren't proper according to the scriptures. And now it's trickling down, all right, to, you know, his uh, 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 um, his men, okay? You guys are not ready to teach. Especially guys like this, they are not ready to teach. Basic uh, scriptures, they're, they're messing up. Basic scriptures. Okay? And for Sakari, he better get on his men. All right? You better get on your men. Because they're messing up basic one-on-one things. And it should, that should definitely not be happening. Okay? But see, going back to what I was saying, it all starts off with the head. And see, Sakari, you know, he's a, a very willful... All right, very, you know, very disobedient to the order, the structure, okay? And he doesn't know how to deal with reproof and, and, and correction. And guaranteed, these men uh, uh, won't uh, deal with it either, Either, okay? Because I'll say this, you're having more and more brothers see this clip, and they're starting to make videos on it, which maybe, Lord willing, I might do one as well. Right now, through the Spirit, you know, I'm talking to you brothers out there who are sincere, all right? Yeah, you GMS brothers, you know, Affiliate camps, you know, you got a, a, a study. This is not a joke, man. Okay, you really got to be locked in, cause hey, you're a defender. Let me get that. It talks about how we're defenders for the gospel. All right, let me see if I can get that real quick. Give me one second. Oh, I think it's defender for the word. I think that's how it's actually worded. Give me one second. I forgot how it's exactly worded. Oh boy, it's a lucky too. I'm driving, but um, you know, I, I, you know, just through the spirit. All right, you know, I'm just roughly paraphrasing it. It talks about how we're, you know, defenders for the gospel, defenders for this word. You see, and you cannot take that lightly. If you're going to be a defender for this word, you got to make sure you're on point. Okay. Got to make sure that that what you're teaching is, uh, you know, is correct. Because you, as the scriptures say, I might end it off with this. It talks about how you have to give an answer to every man. All right, I think that's in the book of Peter. I say, give me one second. I'm driving. I'm trying to pay attention to the road and also find this scripture. But like I said, I think it's in. Um, Oh, here we go. Yep. First Peter chapter three, uh, verse 15. And it reads here, but sanct, but it says, but sanctify the Lord, Yahweh, the power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Okay. You see, we got to be uh, ready to give an answer to all men all right whether they're a sincere individual or whether they're a scoffer you have to be ready and the only way that you're ready is if you're studying okay you you know reading the scriptures yourself and then also um learning from a man of the lord all right whose senses are exercised as the scriptures talk about you know <laughs> talks about uh uh you know, the milk and the meat. I think that's in the book of Hebrews. Talks about how a babe is going to, uh, you know, use that milk. Which, hey, milk, there's nothing wrong with milk. Because hey, as Elder Melkema says out here in Chicago, that uh, um, he says, uh, Elder Melkema says um, that milk drowns. It drowns people. Okay? All right. You see? 
And that's all you really, I'll say this, that's really what you need out there on the highways and byways. You really got to get that milk on, on point. Got to get it down. Because if you got the milk, you know, down, these people can't touch you, you know? And then, you know, then you can get into the meat when you, you know, more seasoned, okay? All right? And then you can uh, uh, teach the advanced things of the scriptures, okay? And see, these guys, they, they don't even got the milk completely through, completely through, all right? But uh, let me go back real quick to that um that 2 Timothy 2 and 15, because I actually want to read the 16th verse, and then we're going to end this lesson, all right? This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, verse 15, and it reads, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. All right? And these guys, they, uh, um, they had that vain babbling. Like I said, that profane and vain babbling, they just kept talking, okay? Out of their ass all right you know you got to see the video you know to understand what I'm saying all right Lord willing you brothers you know uh, see it from another um, another arc. Like I said I just didn't want to touch on the actual topic as of yet just wanted to uh, because what hit me and what it you know what, what was put in my spirit was to, to talk about how we need to study all right but point being though these guys were just spewing out madness Okay? And that produces ungodliness. Because really, they're being wicked. Alright? They're, they're being wicked. You know? And see, the Lord, man, he, <laughs> the Lord is really exposing these camps. The Lord is really exposing these camps. The Lord is showing us who are the men of the Lord and who are not. And it's very, very evident. You see? If you have spiritual eyes, you're you're able to see these things. You know? But, um... You know, I'm going to end this lesson, though. Hey, brothers and uh, uh, sisters, you know, whoever's listening, who, whoever is a true follower and believer of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, uh, make sure you're studying... You know, make sure that you know um, that that you're reading, listening to videos, okay? Because you don't want to look like these guys. And I'll say this, because um, the scriptures say this. Um, it's in the book of Sirach, uh, and I'm gonna uh, just roughly paraphrasing it. It says, if you don't uh, um, know the answer to something, you know, cover your mouth. All right. If you can't answer your neighbor, cover your mouth. Meaning, you know, just shut your mouth, all right? And, and, and don't just basically wing it. It's better to do that than just to spew out madness. Because you're going off and then you, you, you're teaching somebody a false doctrine. And, then, and they may spread it then, you see? So you got to be really mindful of things. All right, but um, I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying to uh, whomever was listening. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.